Everything I said about being afraid of three minutes ago, guys, forget about it. Now I feel like a million bucks. The question is, are mules better than horses? Why does every mule person say once you ride a good mule, you'll never go back to horses? My quest as a trainer is to show you guys every aspect of mulemanship. I have some episodes here that are going to really stretch me as a trainer. So stay tuned and stick with us throughout this challenge. One of the best comments the other day, someone says, you can't pet them, but you could ride them. <laughs> yep. They can be nervous and watchy and waspy on the ground, but sometimes once you get in the middle of them up on top, I don't know exactly the, the logic behind it, but they just settle right into things. And so today's the first day in this big open arena. We're going to start out snubbed up next to Flash here. Going to cover a lot of ground, get him out and moving, spend some time buddied up, and then build up to getting turned loose like we did the last couple days in the round pen. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have some butterflies in the stomach, but seems to come with the territory around Jeffrey. Just get him to step out of this. And so I'm just going to move around and we're going to try and get them loosened up. And we're going to build these circles bigger and bigger until we're doing the whole arena and then we'll switch directions. And So Jeffrey's got a mix of feelings here, I think, of not being comfortable with Flash and Nate right there and of being worried about me. This beautiful custom mule skinner hat is sitting nice, but I never got it into lock mode. So before I really kicked her into a lope, I wanted to lock it down. I just want to keep him up next to Flash like this. We didn't want to get back behind Nate there, so Jeffrey would be switching sides. And so I need to do a better job at driving him forward. Ooh. So, so I, I want to share my honest thoughts with you guys. I have two fighting things in my head. Now, I'm sure I can talk Nate into coming back and helping me out again, but in all reality, like, I... If I don't get turned loose today, when will I get turned loose? Why am I not doing it today? Is it going to be better in three days? I don't think so. And so I think when I have someone that's pretty handy here on um, probably the best horse in all of Canada, just saying that because he's mine, but someone who's pretty handy on a pretty good horse, I, I just need to push it, get, get over this hump, this is the moment, if you thought the first ride was what I was actually nervous about, you were wrong. He's loosened up pretty good. Everything I said about being afraid of three minutes ago, guys, forget about it. <laughs> now I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> well, thanks for following this Jeffrey journey. We have a whole nother five months ahead of us. I'm excited to see just exactly what we can accomplish. You know, I didn't think I would be here right now um, either. So, you know, he, he's been a bit of a wild card for me. Do I think that it's all going to be smooth sailing from here on? No, I don't. But I think we got a pretty dang good start now. He may not be in the challenge, but he's my challenge. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, go to barjlhorsetraining.com. We have a membership area there with my training program. Thanks for watching. Share this video. Take care, guys.
I might try and get a few hindquarter yields. So that's where I'm going to flex them around, reach back, 